because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Coogan Cassius so IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by Mr. Tundi AJ. How are you, mate? Shadow box. You know, I always give you the only you could get the shadow box, Coop. <laughs> How are you there, my man? Yeah, that's like a normal thing for us now. <laughs> um, unfortunate that for, for Joe Joyce, we know the way the fight seemed like it was going, but to be having to pull out the corner by the doctor because of the eye, we saw the eye closing every round and it didn't look great. Yeah, unfortunate for Joe. You know, such a good guy, a fan favourite. And um, it's that old adage in boxing, you know, no matter how good your chin is, no matter how tough you are, if you keep on taking punches flush, you know, eventually, you know, things can happen. And unfortunately for Joe tonight, wasn't his night and uh, the eye was the cause of the stoppage. At 40 years old, Zhang, we saw obviously that performance. A lot of people believe that he beat Filip Hergovic. Coming into this fight here now, he's opened himself up for some huge fights. He's going to be a problem in that division. Wow. Uh, listen, they say heavyweight boxing can never be predicted. And we see it tonight. You know, I think it was kind of disrespectful for people calling him some bum and some journeyman. And Joe's going to walk through him. Again, it just shows you that. You know, heart, desire, will. You know, 40 is the new 30. <laughs> I'm with that, I know, I'm with that. 40 is the new 30 and uh, uh, he showed it. He had speed, power. Um, I think he knew he couldn't outwork Joe. Um, so he played the tucking up game and pick, punch picking was, his selection of punches were f fantastic. And you see the Olympic pedigree in Joe. I said it, you know, I was, I was forced yesterday to uh, give a prediction on how Zhang wins, even though I said Joe between 8 and 10, and I was forced, I said, if Zhang can keep walking Joe onto the left hand, uh, being a southpaw, we could be in for a long night, and I think we saw that from the very first bell. It was just, uh, and Joe just wasn't moving his head, you know, and uh, I think sometimes when people keep on saying to you that, you know, your skull is made out of this, your skull, you might, you know, neglect the boxing skills, and, um, you can't take punches. You can't tell, take those kind of punches, especially over 12 rounds. Tundi, it's a shame we didn't get to really see that fight progress into the second half. We know that Zhang would have slowed down. He was showing signs of it um, rounds five and six. And then we would have seen kind of a different Joe Joyce into those later rounds. But we didn't get a chance to see that. And yeah, that is unfortunate. But a rematch, there's got to be something there, surely. Absolutely. I mean, I, I predicted eight to ten. I did believe... I was under the impression and belief that Joe would grind him down and around 8 and 10, you know, Zhang just couldn't hold on to more. And it was kind of going that way. You see, Zhang was covering up. Joe was the one throwing the punches, the punches. And, but Zhang was punch picking, you know, with a straight left. And I do believe, I do believe if it had gone on a couple more rounds, anything could have happened. So if he gets a rematch, you know, Joe will work on a few things and hopefully get back his belt. Chundi, appreciate your time as always and a uh, little quick reaction there, but yeah, keep doing your thing, brother, and uh, hopefully we'll definitely catch up again soon. Come on, come on. Uh, big up Joe Joyce. Still a Joe Joyce fan and supporter. Uh, great for the sport. Uh, a packed audience tonight and uh, Joe can really bring them out. Let's get, let's get that rematch and let's hope Joe that, um, can reclaim his belts back. Top man, thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. Thank, thank you for the interview, Mr. Coogan Cassius, aka the Don. <laughs>